Right, so let's get the very latest now from that Limpopo ANC Provincial Conference. Uh, reporter Abongile Tumako is standing by. So, Abongile, if we could just get a sense from you on the events of the day that culminated in this uh, wide burst that Stanley Matabata left his uh, challenger. Tell us about what the... Uh, those who are attending the conference are saying about them voting in what appears to be a united manner. Certainly. Good evening to you, Tsepi. So quite an eventful day we've seen un unfold here at the ranch resort just outside Bulukwane Limpopo. Certainly it's the 10th uh, elective conference of the province, which has seen Stan Matabata coming back to the throne, taking that position of being the chairperson of the province. They've set a target for themselves, Tsepi, so together with the top five leaders, which includes Florence Razilani as the deputy chairperson, to actually go at length to make sure that the unity and renewal and rebuilding of the ANC is being realized in this province. I'm sure you've heard in that package done by my colleague Natasha Piri, committed, able and ready to take the ANC forward, he says, which will see more of an attention given to the people on the ground when it comes to services, issues of service delivery in and around the Limpopo province. We've seen the voting taking place from last night. We've seen quite a, a lot of uh, you know uh, processes in this conference unfolding uh, to what one would have said would, would regard uh, surprising because as you have, you'd have seen in the previous provincial uh, conferences your eastern cape and pumalanga there was quite a lot of you know glitches for a lack of a better word that we've seen coming out of there but limpopo was quite smooth from when it started except for the delay on friday the conference was supposed to have started at 10 but we've seen going on until uh, five o'clock uh, i mean waited until five o'clock for it to, uh, to start in the afternoon stan mataba did give Matabata did give us an explanation as to what led to that delay. And of course now I'm joined by Mamunom Vula Mukonyana. She is the head of organizing in the ANC, deployed by the National Executive Committee of the ANC to come and observe these developments we see happening here in Limpopo. Mama, thank you so much for your time. I know it's cold. It's been quite an eventful past two days, I would say, here in Limpopo. We've seen the voting taking place. We've seen the announcement made when it comes to the new leadership of of, of Limpopo province, your view and your observation thus far. Thank you very much for inviting us and let me also say good evening to the viewers at home. Indeed, this has been one of our highly organized, efficient uh, provincial conference. The preparations of this uh, provincial conference started as far back as August uh, 2021 when we started with the branch uh, by annual general meetings as well as uh, the preparation for the regional conferences. You'll recall that the last regional conference that was held here is the one of Peter Mukaba. Um, the outstanding one is that of, um, of Waterbeck. And Peter Mukaba regional conference took place uh, uh, the first week of January. Between then and now, there's just been a series of uh, preparations now branch general meetings preparing for the provincial conference. That on its own gave the province a situation where they met their threshold as early as in March 2022 and uh, out of that they initially thought of uh, bringing the conference uh, earlier but um, in consultation with national office we agreed that let's allow that uh, the province go beyond the 70 percent as we speak now they are way above 87 percent um, almost 537 branches that are participating here 1198 voting delegates that participate here and of importance branches that have also gone through induction um, by the political education team as well as the rec's that have already gone through the the, the, the induction and that you could also see with how the province <coughs> ran their last local government elections because there was now a presence of leadership on the ground and what the chairperson also asserted yesterday to say they would want to maintain that contact and connection with uh, communities on the ground. They've also defined themselves as a province that does not only care for the communities only in Limpopo but they've also been champions of 
solidarity and humanitarian support with uh, the people of KwaZulu Natal um, now with the disaster. The third other thing that they've also been quite uh, a, a, a good at as we speak is that uh, there were build up discussions around uh, um, discussion documents coming to this conference and today um, we, we left early in the morning after the delegates voted and we came back and the entire day was spent in commissions. Uh, the entire day was spent in commissions and tomorrow there will be report backs from commissions um, on various issues including using this provincial conference as a preparatory uh, 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 platform for the coming policy conference. It's quite a good experience. We've also rolled out the new membership system. Even on voting, people came through a scanner um, as well as uh, identifying the membership standing of every individual who participated. Yeah. It would seem quite a lot of homework has been done by Munomvula here in Mbopo building up to this conference. Uh, that's why we as the media we were quite well for a lack of a bit. I were disappointed that we didn't see some of the delays we've seen in the Eastern Cape as well as in Pumalang. I guess moving forward because you know that there's a lot of other provincial conferences that are, are going to take place. What message you want to send to those other provinces that are yet to sit in as far as the logistical challenges that we've seen happen in Eastern Cape and Pumalang are concerned? This calls for, for a much more responsible leadership, political leadership, that firstly takes responsibility in ensuring that processes uh, unfold in a manner that is uh, uh, organizational and not come on the 11th hour or on the eve of uh, the conferences to assume responsibility. Secondly, it also shows the extent of uh, knowledge of processes by branches as i've said that we have run workshops with the branches of limpopo some of the workshops we ran virtually with them um, preparing for their bbgm how to have a branch that creates on time and all those things as well as um, the things that have to do with separating your preparation for building a branch uh, uh, against uh, preparing for a conference. As I've said, they started with PBGMs as far back as in August last year. They had their regional conferences. They had a breather between the preparation for a provincial conference and um, and the regional conferences. So that's another important thing, lesson to learn. The third thing that that is also uh, a, a good lesson about uh, the processes here in Limpopo was also the management of disputes, uh, starting at a branch level, as well as uh, the interaction between the Provincial Dispute Resolutions Committee and the National uh, Dispute Resolutions Committee. Because once the verification report is signed by the Secretary General, you then have a document that legitimizes the structures that have to participate. So there was also a space of uh, validation of the verification reports. Of course, there were one, two, uh, three branches that were not satisfied. But as I've said, it is um, the overwhelming branches of the NC here, almost 80, 87% of the NC branches here participated. And then, Mama, uh, before I let you go, it's quite cold, Shamsor. Mm. But now the important factor that I also sort of noticed as, 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 a, as a journalist here, this conference, uh, the 10th conference of the ANC in Limpopo, went far beyond than what we've observed again, even at a regional level in Tuane, you know, Johannesburg and Ekuru and other regions. Conferences have suddenly uh, about become about, you know, Who's going to be the next leader? Here there were plenary sessions today. Yeah. Yes, here there were plenary sessions, as I've said. Um, it was more of a political school. We, we all enjoyed, even early hours of today, we were discussing the organizational renewal uh, document as well as the strategy and tactics. And um, members of the ANC delegates participated. And, and as, I've, as I've said, um, it was led from the front by the PEC itself. Um, they had conference preparatory committees as far back as in March. They had the preparatory committees. So every PEC member had a role um, to make sure that this conference becomes a success. The role of the regional secretaries and the role of the provincial secretary. Comrade Soviet worked very well 
with the regional secretaries in pulling together the administrative as well as the political management of this uh, of this uh, conference and uh, and and I think we need to commend him uh, together with his collective the administrative uh, capacity of the office of the NC here in Limpopo comrades there have done quite a very impressive work we also have a national team that uh, were pulled together that deals with the registration for conferences and that team has actually perfected uh, what we started in Pumalang and, and we believe that uh, as we move to KwaZulu Natal because they've also requested an interaction with the SGO to prepare for their conferences. They've also done well because they've concluded all their regional of, uh, uh, conferences. They are now entering into the processes of their provincial conferences. So the, the, the important thing is making sure that uh, the conferences do not become events but become sites of implementation of our program. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much and thanks for your cooperation and tolerance. Thank you. Allah, Allah. There you have it. Tsebi Samakwet, Mamonomvula Mukonya, and she's the head of organizing in the ANC. The ANC, NEC, deployed here, here alongside the likes of Mamutogo Didiza and Tandima Mbeshala, Sbongile Pesani, to actually come and observe the goings on here in Limpopo as the ANC holds its 10th elective conference. There is uh, quite a lot of things that we've seen transpire here that uh, she actually alludes to the fact that they need to be lessons learned by the other provinces that are yet to sort of have their provincial conferences during the course of the year building to first that uh, policy conference which is said which is said to take place this year and subsequently the 55th national elective conference of the ANC which will take place in December of this year quite a lot of things to learn she says especially when it comes to the, membership, the electronic membership system, being able to, to actually do all the logistical work way ahead before the actual set date for the conference to take place. Currently, uh, the, the, the members or delegates in this conference are busy uh, nominating the PEC members and, of course, additional members. We understand that after that voting will take place, an announcement will be made during the course of the night or in the early hours of tomorrow morning, which will subsequently be followed by the, uh, the address from the ANC president, Cyril Ramaphosa, we are told by Pule Mabes spokesperson of the ANC around 12 o'clock tomorrow to close the conference. We've seen him doing that, in fact, in Pumalanga. We've seen him doing the same thing in the Eastern Cape. He is expected to be here as well to officially close the conference. That is since Stan Matabata taking the, the throne and becoming the national, I mean, the, the provincial chairperson for the third time in a row. Sebi Somakwet, let's back to you in Auckland Park. Thank you very much, Shabongi Lutumako in Limpopo. And of course, we'll get more details from our colleagues there. He and Natasha Perry watching that story very closely.